All right, I find this next part very, very fascinating. If you guys have listened to this two and a half hour video, you will see how mad Deborah Weiss, or I, should I say Robin, um, whatever her name is, um, gets over power, right? This family had to heat their, the garage that they're shipping all these books from. And um, it's very interesting, and there's a lot of tales, because the things that we have seen in the spending of Deborah Weiss, a.k.a. Shalom, is that she spends enormous amounts of money on herself. But when it comes to the people shipping the Bibles, she is a complete Nazi. She completely um, will run the people in the muck. She will cut them off while she's spending exorbitant amounts of money. So the two things that I thought were interesting in this next clip is number one, she goes into memory lane and she may actually have just told us her real name, which I believe is Robin. Robin. She says, mom. Mom always said, Robin. And then the other tale is that they didn't want to pay for power, right? The power bill was upsetting them. And so they wanted these people to put wood out there, but they did not provide the wood for them. And um, what Deborah or the owner of the Holy Scriptures says is that um, essentially when she says, um, her mother tells her to put on more clothes. You're not going to run the heater. That is her advice to this little family that is shipping enormous amounts of scriptures out. And they have a fairly large garage that they're trying to run at least 15 to 18 hours a day. So um, it is it is very critical that we understand the heart, mind, and soul of the people at the Hallelujah Scriptures and how they act and how they operate. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up this clip. And um, we will continue on with this investigation, but I just thought this was very interesting. We do get probably a real name out of her, and this is the first time I've ever heard Robin. I've heard probably eight or nine different names, but I have never heard the name Robin before. So this will possibly lead to more clues and us figuring out who these people are. But listen to how greedy this woman is, right? She tells these people to put on more clothes. You're not going to have a heater. That was her message. So it's more wild stuff from the Hallelujah Scripture Grifters and this entire evil organization of theirs. In the cold parts, um, the the furnace for the house doesn't really do anything anyway, so there's no use even turning it on. But I will say the fireplace in the What's the living room. Sorry. What's a furnace? Sorry, brother. Um, I don't know what the the big electric heater for the house. You know what my mother so, used to say? <laughs> she used to say, Robert, put on extra clothes. You're not having a heater. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, I'll tell you. Brother. But I'll just tell you how our, our parents were. Oh, yeah. You know what my mother so, used to say? <laughs> she used to say, Robert, 